If Cincinnati gets a Major League Soccer franchise, home games will likely be played in a new West End stadium. That's because of a new plan unveiled today in which the city and the community will work together to make it happen. Nine on your sides, Tom McKee has the details and reaction to them. Newport is out, Oakley is out, the West End appears to be in as the site for the new FC Cincinnati Soccer Stadium. But there are still many hurdles that have to be cleared before the deal is done. Business, government and community leaders gathered Friday to announce a new plan for the FC Stadium. It would go on the site of the current Stargill Stadium behind Taft High School. Council members P.G. Sittenfeld and David Mann are the architects. We are a can-do city. Let me say again, we don't pass on opportunity, we seize opportunity. The plan makes the city and West End partners in developing the stadium and the neighborhood area around it. Both help solve the biggest issue, $25 million in property taxes for the stadium site. That's what Cincinnati Public Schools had demanded. FC Cincinnati will be paying CPS its full fair share of taxes. There's $32 million for minority businesses, $15 million in new affordable housing, and $100,000 a year for community groups like the Little Senators Youth Sports. Team owners are privately paying for stadium construction, which will create over 1,800 jobs. West End Community Council President Keith Blake calls that a strong commitment to the neighborhood. I hope my neighbors and the residents really take it to heart that this could be the beginning of a bright future for the West End. The Greater Cincinnati Homeless Coalition remains concerned, though, about West End residents being displaced, even with 162 new units of affordable housing. History tells us there is a good chance at least of over a thousand people being displaced and that 162 will not cover what will happen in this neighborhood. Getting to the deal has been an exhaustive process, one that FC Cincinnati backers appreciate. I think it's a great moment for the city and proof that if we work together, we can accomplish great things. But there's also a sense that it's just one more step toward improving the Queen City. As we move forward, I hope our city, both its leaders and its people, will feel the same sense of urgency about poverty and education and wages as we have about this stadium. Approval will still have to come from Cincinnati City Council, the Cincinnati Public School Board, and of course, Major League Soccer has to give the city a franchise before anything can move forward. Tom McKee, not on your side in the West End.